Today I'm going to tie a uh, Paul, C Paul Cronin Surfin uh, Merkin. It's a uh, pattern used uh, to uh, sight fish for Corbina here in uh, Southern California. It's a proven pattern. Um, this is a pink one. Uh, basically, guys use the pink in the uh, surf zone so that you can uh, go ahead and spot your fly and uh, know its position uh, as you're looking for the fish so you'll be able to keep the, both of them uh, right in sight and hopefully get that Corbina to eat it. So uh, this is a pink one. I'll probably tie the pink one today. Um, kind of the other version of this fly is the uh, standard here which is a uh, what they call like a silver gray. It's a nice little color and um, the way I like to tie them is a bit different than Paul ties them. Uh, if you've seen some of the tutorials and stuff out there, uh, either uh, on online and the or in a couple of magazines, uh, Paul, Paul ties them a bit different. Uh, I'm going to show you a different style. Uh, I'm not sure if it makes a big difference. It's just a matter of preference. Um, just a quick little look. Uh, the way that I've seen Paul tie his on the back end of it sort of end up with some figure eights and material hanging out the sides where if you look at the way that I like it here you can see it on the front there you have more of a rounded effect and then rather than a flatter effect on the uh, on the fly uh, talking to one of the local guys who loves a fly fish for Corbina uh, Al Q he was saying basically uh, the rounded version here um, Kind of has a different different profile in the water. Where if you look at this one, that the normal surfer American one, it ends up being more elongated in the water. So I, I'm not sure if it matters much. It's just a matter of what you like to do. But I'm going to show off or show off. I'm going to show how to tie the rounded one since that's the one I haven't seen yet in any of the tutorials or uh, videos. So. My thread of choice for most of my flies is a clear, this is a clear, fine clear uh, uni thread, which I really, really like. Go ahead and start it off there, and then what you want to do is advance that thread. about right there. Um, this pattern is uh, meant to imitate a sand crab or mole crab that live right in the surf zone and uh, are one of the favorite foods of a corbina and uh, They kind of have these little legs at the back end of it, so you kind of do that, just kind of like a little bit of legs. Like so. And you'll see I'm tying everything on on uh, on basically on one side of the hook shank. And uh, basically that would allow uh, this fly to uh, quickly sink down and, and basically on the back end here, we'll end up putting down some epoxy or some CCG to uh, keep your uh, threats protected. And uh, so the la next little thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of a orange flash. This is a bait fish emulator in the color orange. And uh, I think I've talked about my hook here, but this is basically a, an Orvis uh, 9034 hook, which I think is pretty much the same thing as a Gamagatsu uh, S113H. And this is a size 4. And I have a. Uh, A black dazzle eye, and that's a um, 532nd. So 
So you got your red little orange flash and I'll clean that up right now and make it look a little bit better. But uh, for right now it's fine. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and next add in my next little piece which is some pearl crystal flash. The color here is Pearl UV. I think the UV kind of has that nice cool little effect. And uh, I do like how it looks early in the morning. Just gives out so much so much light when that sun or anything reflects off it. Just really cool. It's a little more subtle than a, than a normal flash, so there you go. And like I said, I'm gonna clean all this up right now, but or in a bit, but for right now, that's kind of the the tail end of this fly. And now comes the body of the fly. So for the body, what you use is in this case you're using uh, EP fibers, and this is the color salmon pink. Uh, pretty common color now for the local Merkins. I think it's a lot of guys have used this and the Corbina don't really seem to mi mind this color. I've read a few guys have tried different other colors but and they've kind of all settled on this one as the one that the Corbinas tend to like or don't don't really mind too much and, and it's actually very good for sight, sight, uh, sight casting to these things. So uh, the, the difference here is that I'm, I'm going to go ahead and stack all my materials on top of the hook shank where if you looked at um, a Paul Cronin tutorial or I think he has a video online uh, you would see that he kind of figure eights it so which is a different different way different tie I just mine will end up like I said here will have a different effect uh, overall more of a rounded effect I'm not sure the Corbina really care <laughs> But like anything, it's all about the fly tire and what he likes to do. So, again, I'm just going ahead and stacking your pieces there and catching it with my thread. And that's fine there. It takes about four, four clumps to get this to look right on a size four hook here. Keep catching them. Like so. It's good. Beauty about using this uh, clear mono thread, it does not build up at all. And it's pretty strong stuff, which I'll probably break it right now that I say that, but I, I even use it for now. My my three aught clousers and two aught clousers. I use it for everything. I just really become a big fan of this of this thread because it doesn't build up and it does look really cool when you hit it with the CCG. The flash shines right through it and everything, and it's just nice. So, and uh, it's just a matter of what you're used to, and what you like. So that's it. So I got my materials on top, and and I'm gonna go ahead and splay it out. But before I do that, let me go ahead and um, finish this process off. Do a little whip finish here so I can get that in here. Yep, there you go. One thing about mono thread is if you work and hit that with CCG, you probably want to do at least two or three whip finishes to get it to hold up. But so there you go. My material's on top. You now splay it all out. And I'm gonna come through and you can kind of see it. Definitely is a little trim job, but you can kind of see that what it's going to end up looking like a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the little trim job and you kind of just go ahead and you start trimming it on the sides and around it. But I'm not going to show you all that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple of segments here and shoot it differently. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down and we'll, I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay, um, 
back here after trimming this thing down a little bit and uh it kind of like kind of like trimming down deer hair yeah you know just making your shape and i have taken definitely easier if you have a pair of uh um kind of curved scissors to make some of those body angles and things of that sort but um kind of the kind of things i like to do is keep it kind of round as you can see there and it kind of flares out and looks kind of cool it's a little crab kind of rounded out um and also one of the key things is uh, don't make sure you you keep this portion here open um you don't want this ep fibers to uh basically end up being a a fish guard so one of the last things you do then is uh, once you've cut the thing all trimmed out you can go ahead and pull back some of that material i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add in a bit of orange flash here to this fly and this orange flash is going to be sort of like a little little egg a uh, little sand crab with some eggs there so i, I just have some cascade crest some of the a little orange flash that I like to use on some of the other patterns, but uh, I think it doesn't really matter. You can get some crystal flash orange or something like that. Um, do is then just attach it here to the front. Let me fly if I can get in there. There it is. I get in there and attach that in. Um, And take that flash and just figure eight it right through those eyes, right on top, like so. Nice little flash right there. It's gonna be kind of cool. Just kind of cover it up, and you, I'm gonna put CCG in here, so it's gonna definitely gonna this will all be protected. So. As that, once you have that, go ahead and click off your excess there, and we'll finish this thing. Get in there, Adam. Yeah, there it is. Sorry about that. So we have the flash material set in the front. We have the little rounded crab pattern. I've gone through the back end. If you've seen this, but I've trimmed out also some of my leg material. It's just, it's just you want just a couple pieces hanging out. You don't want all that orange out there. So just a few pieces of orange. Kind of looks cool. Uh, your little little legs. Like I said, everything is tied on one side of that hook shank, and that. It's gonna allow this fly to really just drop in that water column nice and neat with that little bit of a pink puff right on top. So last thing to protect everything is you come through, just, I got some brushable CCG. I have it here in a bucket. I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply it on that. Those clear mono thread wraps. And when you hit that with that light, it is really cool because those thread wraps pretty much disappear. <laughs> so right there on the little crystal flash, the orange flash out in front. And what's cool there again is is uh, that. Clear mono thread is going to be gone, so you're all you're going to see is that crystal material. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that now with CC, with my little CCG light, and you know, three to five seconds. This is why you want to use CCG because it hardens pretty freaking fast, and and that's it. A little surfing, mer little surfing merkin that uh, it's a little different, like I said, than what you see in the most tutorials, but uh, great little pattern for uh, sight fishing for those Corbina. And I'd probably, again, come back here, put a little more CCG out in front, but that's it, that's the fly. So, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and uh, happy fishing to you, thanks, bye. 
Okay, um, back here after trimming this thing down a little bit, and uh, it kind of like kind of like trimming down deer hair. Yeah, you know, just making your shape. And I have taken definitely easier if you have a pair of uh, um, kind of curved scissors to make some of those body angles and things of that sort. But um, kind of the kind of things I like to do is keep it kind of round, as you can see there, and it kind of flares out and looks kind of cool. It's a little crab kind of rounded out. Um, and also one of the key things is uh, don't make sure you you keep this portion here open um, You don't want this EP fibers to uh, basically end up being a, a Fish guard so One of the last things you do then is uh, once you've cut the thing all trimmed out You can go ahead and pull back some of that material. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in a bit of orange flash here to this fly and this orange flash is going to be sort of like a little little egg a uh, little sand crab with some eggs there so I, I just have some cascade crest some of the little orange flash that I like to use on some of the other patterns but uh, I think it doesn't really matter you can get some crystal flash orange or something like that um, do is then just attach it here to the front fly if I can get in there there it is I get in there and attach that in um, then take that flash and just figure it right through those eyes right on top like so nice little flash right there Gonna be kind of cool. Just kind of cover it up, and you, I'm gonna put CCG in here, so it's gonna definitely gonna. This will all be protected. So, as that. Once you have that, go ahead and click off your excess there. And we'll finish this thing. Get in there, Adam. Yeah, there it is. Sorry about that. Cool. So, we have the flash material set in the front. We have the little rounded crab pattern. I've gone through the back end. I don't know if you've seen this, but I've trimmed out also some of my leg material it's just it's just you want just a couple pieces hanging out you don't want all that orange out there so just a few pieces of orange kind of looks cool uh your little little legs like i said everything is tied on one side of that hook shank and that's gonna allow this fly to really just drop in that water column nice and neat with that little bit of a pink puff right on top so last thing to protect everything is you come through just I got some brushable CCG. I have it here in a box, and I'm just going to go ahead and just apply it on that. Those clear mono thread wraps. And when you hit that with that light, it is really cool because those thread wraps pretty much disappear. <laughs> so right there on the little crystal flash an orange flash out in front and what's cool there again is is uh, that clear mono thread is going to be gone so you're all going to see is that crystal material so I'm going to go ahead and hit that now with CC with my little CCG light and you know three to five seconds this is why you want to use CCG because it hardens pretty freaking fast and, and that's it. A little surfing mer little surfing merkin that uh it's a little different, like I said, than what you see in the most tutorials, but uh great little pattern for uh side fishing for those corbina and I'll probably again come back here and put a little more CCG out in front, but that's it, that's the fly. So hope you enjoyed uh watching this and uh happy fishing to you. Thanks. Bye.